So I remember meeting a fund manager as I was building my property business and he wanted to give me 50 million pounds. And he was kind of quite condescending and said, you're an operator, we've got the money, these are the key KPIs and the return that we want to get on, on our investment. We want you to invest 50 million pounds to buy lots and lots of houses. And he had no understanding of what would actually be required. And one of the fundamental things that is just to me, so simple to understand is that if you give somebody 50 million pounds every day week month that goes by and that 50 million pounds is sitting in a bank account not being deployed it's not generating a profit it's not being utilized so when a company takes in a lot of money if they take in too much money they are desperate to deploy it and i just see it all the time with tech companies with e-commerce companies that have raised a shed load of money and they then have to spend it and they spend it unwisely, incorrectly, too quickly, and they run out of money and they get used to just living off of funding. Most people that provide funding to businesses have never started a company, don't understand the practical reality and give companies too much money too quickly, which creates the wrong behaviors. And that's why well-funded businesses quite often crash and burn. So the lesson for me and the way we tend to invest in businesses is we phase in the capital as the business needs it. And that's a much safer way to invest. You don't just give a business five million pounds because then they're desperate to spend that and scale up and grow and it drives some of the wrong behaviors. So wherever possible, I like to fund businesses in an incremental manner so that actually you fund the cash flow needs and you've got some reserves, but you don't give them too much money too quickly to drive the wrong behaviors. That is a great way to de-risk investment.